Good morning. Today I want to talk about the newest upgrade of the Open Core Legacy Patcher. What I'm running here is my 2014 Mac Mini, uh, upgraded to 16 gigabytes of RAM thanks to uh, DOS Dude One, and the Open Core Legacy Patcher has it running Tsunama very well. Now, there's a new release of it, and the release is 1.4.2, and that's going to be useful in Sonoma 14.4. However, there are some warnings on this version about not to use with non-metal graphics cards. I've got two older Mac Pros that may or may not, and I'll have to look into that later, but right now I want to upgrade my 2014 Mac Mini. So when you boot, you'll see this screen come up. And the first thing we want to do is just tell it to download and install. Keep in mind this progress, or this process rather, is going to take a little bit of time to do, especially once you get to the 14.4 um, download part. So we're not going to watch the whole thing in real time. It's going to ask you for your password. Then it wants you to go ahead and start running the patches and this is always just a case of yes, yes, install to disk. And first thing you want to do is install it to the main disk. In this case, it's a 256 gigabyte SSD. And then I believe it's, yeah, and then it's gonna ask you for the EFI volume. And that's important because that's where it boots the patched operating system or learns to. You're going to enter your password again. And then you're just going to let it do its thing. Yes, you definitely want to uh, update the root patches. Start root patching. It wants to launch as administrator. And then it comes back up with administrator rights. And I will pause until the next update. All right, now it wants to reboot again. So we let it do that. Okay, we have rebooted. So let's go see if it took. And yes, there we are at 1.4.2. So now, let's close that and go to update the operating system. So we are currently running 14.3.1 and we want to go to 14, or I'm sorry, yeah, 14.4. So, as I'm sure you know how to do this, we go into System Settings. And we go to General. And we go to Software Update. And we tell it to update. Now, 
Now this process will take a while and depending on your type of machine dictates how long this will <clears throat> take. So, but go ahead and be prepared, you know, for an hour or two overall. And 15 minutes later, we are still chugging along, and it says 35 minutes remaining. Um, that's not the overall time. But I'm going to go set another timer for uh, 20 minutes and then come back and check. Now we're on the screen that I'm sure everybody has seen that is now more or less just reflecting me. <laughs> It says about four minutes remaining. Let's set another timer for 15 minutes and come back. And cool, it looks like it's done. Okay, this is normal. It wants to install the root patches. Uh, this audio hijack is not normal. This is something that I'm running. It's a very cool program. It lets you direct different applications to different audio output devices. And I love audio hijack. I believe I did a little video on it a while ago. Anyway, let's let the open core legacy patcher do what it wants to do. Once password again, of course. Another thing I have high marks to say about is this keyboard from Apple, the uh, the full Magic Keyboard. Love it. I just like having a, nu a numerical pad. All right, it is done. And now I believe it's going to want me to do a reboot. Trying to get just the right amount of the screen. All right, reboot, restart. And then after the reboot, that should be fine. We will check it out. And so yes, the 2014 Mac Mini with 16 gigs of RAM is now completely up to date and it runs just fine since it's got enough memory. Even with this other display that I talked about in another video that I just use for a, basically a terminal, a remote screen session with this Mac Pro 4.1 down here. So, I encourage you support the Open Core Legacy project. And it's cool that we have things like this from the retro community. That's it for this one. I hope you enjoyed and found something useful from it.